right now. We are going to the jail that's supposedly supposed to be haunted. I've been there before. And I never really had anything happen to me. But uh, we're going to go down there again with these guys because I wanted to show them how cool it looks. This cool place right here looks creepy. I like it. This is creepy. <laughs> Ooh, oh, Jesus, you <laughs> ass. Asshole. <laughs> yeah, that was on video, you. wasn't it? I yeah. knew he was going to do that. We need to censor time. our language for you, man. <laughs> I knew he was going to hey, do that. Give, give me the flashlight. I'm, I'm, oh. That was perfect. I got it. I'm, ah, sorry, but it's really hard to... I'm aiming at my dad's face. I know, but it's easier because like, I can... It's easier when it's stationary with the camera. Oh, yeah, I've been here, yeah. Okay. Old, hold on. Highlight the sign. I want to record it. The old Temecula Jail. There's actually someone in here. Did you get it? That's the first time I actually sent someone in here before. Yeah. Last time yeah. I was here, I didn't sense anyone. Hey, what you are you guys get doing in here? Get the mannequins. You come up to this? Do not grab it on my hand. <laughs> this is expensive. It's sixty-five dollars. Can you come up to it? Whoa. Use energy. It's not so hard, I don't think. <laughs> Even though I've never been dead before. <laughs> Come on. Come here, little girl. Come here. <laughs> yeah. Trying to provoke him. <laughs> Broke him. Broke him. Broke him. <laughs> Come on. Was that just my eyes, or did it spike? I I don't know. We'll check the footage after. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't looking. I didn't see it. You, if that was you, can you do it again? Please do it again. If that was you, I don't even know if that was you. It might have been my imagination. I know. I recorded the mannequins already. Is that that stupid dog again? It's cackling. Come on! Uh, I don't sense them anymore, though. Yeah, yeah that would be really creepy and cliche if the mannequins suddenly, uh... BOO! Like, stood up all of a sudden? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be creepy. I'd be like, FILM! FILM! <laughs> FILM! FILM! Get this one! Run! Uh, I'd be the guy that said run. Oh yeah, last time we were here, was Steven uh, and I? Did I did was it Steven and I? We heard a, a female scream over here. Seriously? Yeah, and we looked and there was no one there. Right, hold on, give me some space. Hold on, what else is uh? You know, I came up here once all by myself. All by myself, just thinking. See if I can get something. What is up top up there? Well, you know someone actually lives up there. No way. Oh, uh, some creepy old hermit. <laughs> I expect him to. Sorry. Dude, ah. I'm so Dude, come on. You can take fine all out. No, it like ruins my night vision. Then I, I turn away and I can't see. Dude, that night vision camera is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it goes through battery fast. Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> it's the cheapest one uh, night vision camera I could get. It was only you should 100. Just get night vision only $130. Yeah, you should just get night vision goggles. No, wait, no, never mind. It was 180. Oh. And and I'm on discouraged. Amazon, but um, on a, the more expensive websites, they're uh, 230 dollars. Do you have to be as sensitive in order to? No, you don't. Have to. Like, you know, uh, taps? They're not sensitive. For ghost hunters. Oh, yeah. Ghost adventures, though. There's. Uh, I think two of them are something. Uh, I know Zach is, and I think Nick is too. Because uh, TAPS is all about disproving stuff, so they're more scientific. Yeah. So they don't really, they're not as open minded, it seems like. That. Want to try that house out there? What, Shepard? You see anything? Just seems like something more creepy. What? Is 
suddenly a wild Snorlax appears. Did you hear that? What? What'd you hear? It's like Native American. Oh, it's that thing, yeah. someone that works in this theater because this is actually a really old theater and uh, I've already done some research on it. I'm trying to remember the date it was made in like the 30s. Michelle's told me it was stage managing. Oh, there you are. I'll be discreet. I'm so So, so you may want to con try to contact the owners. Right now it's up for sale, so you may want to contact the real estate company. But yeah, it's right across the street over there. Just You can walk around the outside of it in the front. Okay, cool. Check it out. Yep, thanks. You bet. Let's go to that hotel. Let's. Uh, I don't think anyone's here. Okay, yeah. guys. This place is supposed to be haunted. This hotel, videotape it. We were told by the old guy that was I mean, that works over there. I don't know his name. Sorry, I had to say old guy. <laughs> um, and this, it's interesting because we actually, Stephen and I, last time we investigated the Palmar, we went outside to see any other places that were haunted, and we heard a scream in this area behind this hotel, which is very interesting. Never mind. Well, we're outside, so it's it's typical. Actually, uh, outside usually you're not supposed to get spikes. In here, but since we're under power lines, we're obviously <laughs> every going to time spikes. underneath the power lines. It's always underneath power lines, man. Check the horses, bud. <laughs> like videotape checking the horse. We should totally just nah, because then we we're getting evidence of crime. We'd be getting evidence. Hold on, wait. I'll just uh. <laughs> Are you, did you guys hear that? Yeah. I don't know, there's like some kind of wailing, kind of like very distant. It might have been nothing, but you know, just trying to be perceptive. I don't want to be overreacting. Yeah, so uh, let's go back to the fall bar. Yeah, yeah. alright. 